Do you want to increase your internet speed, but you don't necessarily want to go out and buy new equipment or upgrade your internet package from your ISP? Well, you've come to the right place. Today I'm going to be talking about ways to speed up your wired and wireless internet. What's more, most of these tips won't cost you anything. So, I don't really think there's a need for further introduction on this topic, so let's get going. We're going to start off by talking about wired internet connections, that is, running an Ethernet wire directly from your router to your computer. This is the preferred way to connect your devices, and it should be used whenever possible over wireless internet, which is much slower and can be flaky, especially when using it over long distance, or through walls, or around devices that may cause interference. So, yeah. First tip, run wires whenever possible. But say you already have wires to your, run to your desktop, and you want to speed up your internet speeds even more. Well, the best way to do this, and my second tip, is to adjust the quality of service in your router settings. Quality of service adjustments allow you to prioritize internet traffic for certain things over others. So what you specify always has priority over everything else. So what this means is that you can tell your router to always prioritize traffic for you know, broad topics like online gaming, or you can get more specific and prioritize, prioritize speeds for individual applications, such as specific games. You can also prioritize speed for specific MAC addresses, which will increase speed for the computer with that MAC address only. These settings are usually adjusted within your router settings page, which you can access by logging in through a browser. If you're unsure of how to do this, you should access the help page for your router manufacturer, and they should show you how. Alright, so real quick, just a few non-router related optimizations. If you're looking to just speed up browsing, and these tips will work for both wired and wireless connections, there are a few things you can do which I will just list off real quick. They include, first, changing your DNS server, maybe to OpenDNS or whichever server you find works for you. Uh, secondly, you can install certain browser plugins uh, such as Adblock, and you can disable JavaScript and Java in your web browser. This will really help speed up browsing. And lastly, you can install a RAM disk program and set up your browser to cache to it. This will significantly speed up your browsing experience. And you can check out my video on RAM disks here for more information. It's cool how that works. So that's enough for wired devices. We're going to move on to wireless devices. So again, real quick, wireless is not your best choice for getting an internet connection. But if you're using a phone or something which is inconvenient to plug in, then yeah, wireless is your only option. So first of all, simple tips. Let's just get these out of the way. My first tip is to make sure your router is placed in a good spot. Wireless is done by radio waves, and they can sometimes get blocked by certain materials such as thick cement or metal, and interfered with by other devices, including microwaves, baby monitors, and certain types of lighting. Ideally, should you should install your router someplace where it won't have to go through too many walls or through too many rooms that are using any of these devices which may cause interference, and which is close by to people using it. Uh, secondly, another simple tip, just update your router's firmware. This should actually be done regardless of if you're using wireless or wired internet. Just log into your router and you should find an option to check for updates or you know, just a button that says update. Um, anyways, uh, next tip, and this one is a bit more nerdy, but it can really speed up your wireless internet. Try changing the channels your router is communicating on, which can also be done through the router setting menu. Uh, typically, for a 2.4 GHz wireless network, you're going to want to use channels 1, 6, and 11, because these are the channels which don't overlap with the channels that other wireless protocols use. So you should, so you should see less interference this way. To get a cool visualization of this, you can download the app Wi-Fi Analyzer on your phone, uh, which will show you for 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz networks which channels are in use. This is especially useful for packed residential areas with maybe dozens of routers nearby. Uh, check this app out and see which channels aren't in use, or which ones are the least crowded, and adjust your router settings to match. And next up, you should take a look at what wireless protocols and types of devices connecting to your router or routers use. By default, your router is probably able to serve several wireless-enabled devices, regardless of their age. Many older devices may run off of older wireless protocols, and your router could be running these protocols just in case one of these older devices needs to connect, and running all these extra protocols can slow it down. So, for example, my router can serve devices with G wireless, but none of these devices in our house use this protocol, so you can tell your router to stop using this protocol, and you should notice a speed increase in your wireless. So, last tip, real quick, and this will work for wired or wireless connections. You should really look into getting a virtual private network service, or VPN. This service will encrypt your internet traffic and hide which websites you're going to from your ISP. If certain websites are running slowly because of throttling from your ISP, a la Netflix, Comcast, this can be circumvented because they can't see what is going to your computer, only that you're receiving encrypted data, and they won't throttle that. There are a couple of other really awesome benefits to running a VPN, and you should do some research if you're interested. But uh, real quick, 
A word of caution, however. If you are not being throttled, a VPN will cause a slight slowdown in internet speed simply because of how they work. And they're not recommended for things that need, you know, quick rea uh, need to be quick, like online gaming, voice over IP. It'll make your ping really high. So if none of these tips worked, there are a few paid options you can look at, including getting better antenna for the back of your wireless router or getting a range extender connected to your router if you really can't move your router, but you want the range to be better. And still, if nothing works, it might just be time to cave in and look at upgrading your router or maybe your internet package from your ISP. But anyways, these have been my tips on how to improve your internet speeds, how to optimize your router, and really uh, if you implement even a few of these, you should really just see increased, increased speeds and hopefully everyone's happy with that. Uh, anyways, subscribe to our channel if you like it, like the video, dislike it, tell us what you thought about it. And if you have other optimizations for your, for your network that you use in your homes, post them down below and maybe we'll start up some new conversations. But, uh, Anyways, this is the Debbie Devs, signing off.